Visit FIFACoin.com and use the code PAGE5 for 5% off. They're an automated system and deliver instantly. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Paige, here once again with another video for you guys and another squad builder. I've been on one of these since, like, what, team of the season most consistent? This is, wow, this is new. God, I haven't done one of these in a while. Anyway, in this uh, squad builder, we're going to be doing my predictions for what the uh, BPL team of the season will be uh, at the conclusion of this 2014-15 slash season. Now, this is just my predictions from the beginning of the season, from form that they showed last season, as well as off-season during the World Cup and pre-season uh, like pre friendlies and stuff like that, uh, how they will go into the Premier League and produce a, a, a perfect season, and then they'll get into this team. Now, there are some um, people that won't make it to this team that I want to mention straight off the bat, so you might get surprised by some selections of mine. Uh, Diego Costa, uh, Eric Lamella, I think will have a really good uh, season for Spurs. He was injured last season, didn't really get chances to be in the team, and I think he'll, he'll have a stellar season. Gary Cahill was in the team of the season last year. Um, he'll be good, I just don't think he'll make the starting 11. As Pilicueta, the same thing. Chelsea's defense is pretty rock solid. Lukaku, now that he's on Everton full time, I think he put he'll put his heart and soul into the team, and he'll have a blinder of a season. Wojciech Szczesny. Um, Wonderful Arsenal keeper, but I think the starting keeper will have a tiny bit better of a season, mainly due to his defense. And I think Mesut Ozil will have a, now that he's second time, second season, sorry, in the Premier League, I think he uh, will become adjusted to it and he'll figure out how to pl uh, uh, play in the league better. And he didn't even have a bad season last year, a pretty good season. It's just that there was such high expectations. So I think with Sanchez and stuff there now, and if we buy another striker and we have Kadir, I think he'll have a blinder of a season, but just not enough to get into the starting 11. Speaking of the start 11, uh, starting 11, sorry, let's get straight into it. So in goals, I'll just set the parameters to our uh, Premier League so it's easier. We're going to have Courtois. I just think with Chelsea's defense around him, he's just going to have, he might not be the best keeper in, in the uh, for the season in regards to saves and stuff like that. I just think he'll hold the most clean sheets due to his defense. And also he's got pretty good skills as well. Uh, at the left back position, it's going to be a generic one. We've got Leighton Baines. I think he's the penalty taker for Everton. He's just good defensively, provides a lot of assists, free kick taker. He's just a good player, and I think he'll remain there in the starting squad as the left back. Uh, at the first centre back position, I've got Vincent Company. I just think he had a really good World Cup in regards to defence for Belgium, so I think he'll have a good one uh, for Man City again. Well, good enough to uh, attain a team of the season card. Second team of the season card. At centre back, I think it's going to be Lauren Koscielny. He deserved one last year. Don't know why he didn't get one. He's had a pretty good um, uh, preseason in regards to some of the games he's played. Uh, even though he only played one or two, I think. Uh, but then he also had a good game against um, who was it? Who played? Crystal Palace scored a goal. I think he'll be scoring a lot of goals off set pieces. I think he'll be like that hidden weapon that no one's expecting to get to the ball. So I think he'll have a good season and deserve uh, retain. Oh no, what would you call it? Attain a uh, team of the season card. At right back, I've got a bit of a surprise, and I just think he's going to have a cracker of a season. That is Branislav Ivanovic. Depending on, because he can play right back as well as he can go and play centre back if he wants to, if they decide to change a formation or a player gets injured. He's so versatile in regards to defence, and he's also a good goal scorer. He's just a target man off crosses and stuff like that, and he can provide assists as well. I reckon he'll have a good season and deserve a uh, team of the season. I will go first to uh, the centre mids. The first centimetre, it pains me to say this, but I think Seth Fabregas, he'll start for Chelsea every single game. He'll probably be the, mo the assist, uh, assist leader. I think he'll contest with Ozil, depending on when Ozil comes back into the team. I hope it's this week. But anyway, I think Fabregas, is, I think he's just destined to have one. He's just too good. I'm so pissed off that he's at Chelsea. At the other centre attacking, uh, centre mid, sorry. Thank God it's an Arsenal player. We've got Ramsey. I think he's just going to continue his form. If hopefully he doesn't get injured. If he doesn't get injured, it's a dead set. He's locked down a team of the season. He's just progressed so much as a player, and I think he's just a wonderful player now. At the right mid position, we got another Arsenal player, and that is Alexis Sanchez. A lot of people might not agree with this, but I think he's just going to be blistering. I think he can he can carry a team. So I reckon if he's got people around him, such as Özil, Özil's going to thrive off um, of the fact that Sanchez is in the team. We've got Giroud, the lumping log up front, who never makes any runs. We've got Sanchez, who makes so many brilliant runs on time, with Ozil feeding him balls through. It's going to be amazing. I cannot wait to see the two of them play together. At uh, the left mid position, we got one of the best players in the world, Eden Hazard. I know it's his 85 card. Who cares? Um, why not click on that? But he'll just have another outstanding season, um, especially with Sesk alongside him, and we've got Dagger Costa up top. I think that'll just, it'll just be a, another team of the season for him. At the, um, at the two strikers... 
once again, Arsenal fan, not a fan is, but Robin Van Persie is the first striker. If he stays healthy, uninjured, he'll have the same season that he did, um, like the first season at Man United and uh, his uh, last season at Arsenal where he was captain. I think 25 goals plus easily if he just stays fit, possibly 30. And um, yeah, and the last striker is going to be Daniel Sturridge. And that's due to the fact that Suarez is gone. He's sort of the main man. I know they're close to signing Balotelli, but honestly, I just think I'm like Arsenal will link with Balotelli. I'm just, I think... I'm thanking God that they didn't sign him because Balotelli is a loose cannon. You can, can't control him. As Rude Hullet, I said, Rude, uh, Rude Hullet said sorry, in an interview, he's unmanageable. Like He just doesn't listen to anyone. He doesn't really show anyone respect. So I think Daniel Sturridge will be the main man. He'll provide a lot of assists and goals. Also, I've, one person I forgot to mention, probably Raheem Sterling, but um, it matters, I guess, what happens with Liverpool's signings and what impact he has on the team now. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's my uh, BPL team of the season prediction. And um, yeah. Anyway, I forgot to lie. I said yeah and just didn't say anything after that. But anyway, yeah, we'll get into a game now and I'll show you some of the highlights. Oh, wow. We've come up against a full sil silver team apart from the goalkeeper. That's really strange. Van Persie. Oh, over the top to Sturridge. Easy goal for Sturridge in the first three minutes. And he does the chicken dance. Easy goal. Who was that? Van Persie, I think. Oh, here we go. Sturridge. Oh, this keeper's run out. Oh, it's a flop. I flopped it. Damn it. Easy goal. Oh, my God. Robin Van Persie. You fucking retard. Oh, my God. Oh, please don't go in. Good work, Coach. Oh, damn it. I knew that second hander would somehow go in. Who was that? Mayuka, Diame. Interesting. Oh, I scored another rebound goal. Fucking hell. Courtois got handling is like his best stat as well. What the hell? Oh my god, we've conceded again. Oh, and there we go. Company second yellow card. Off he goes. Second. Oh god. Yes, storage is through. Hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Tap in. Oh my god, he almost fucked it up. Van Persie, holy shit. Oh, you just let him through. And that's an absolute stunner of a goal, but holy fuck is it undeserved. <sighs> Fabian Delph. I just let him have a shot then. That was retired. That was really bad defending by me. Good work. Make a run. Oh, he would call full time. Well, anyway, that's the team of the season squad, so, um, <laughs> I don't know, I was just versing a guy who's obviously better at FIFA than me, even though he's pretty lucky to score. But if you enjoyed the video, guys, please leave a like. Leave any, uh, what you think, uh, the team of the season will be for BPL in the, in the comment section below, sorry. And, um, yeah, if you're new in here, make sure to subscribe, check out any of my previous videos, and tell me if you want me to do any more of these, uh, team of the season predictions, even though BPL is the one I'm used to. I could do a Bundesliga one, because I know a bit about the Bundesliga, I sometimes watch that when that's on TV. Um, but yeah, until the next video, I'll catch you later, and, um, yeah, goodbye.